I'll be demonstrating how to use Power Teacher Gradebook to enter in baseline scores for grade levels using standard-based report cards. First, I need to verify that I'm working in the correct year, in this case, 2011-2012. In the Classes panel, I have a list of all the classes that I teach. I want to enter in standard scores for reading, so I select Reading on the left-hand side. In addition, I want to verify that I'm working in the correct reporting term. In this case, I want to work in B1, or the baseline. S1 is the middle of year, S2 is the end of the year. As I look at the score sheet, I can see a list of my students on the left-hand side, along with each of the standards. And as I mouse over, I can see the name of the standard, the reporting term, and the scale used to enter the scores. I'll be entering scores for beginning reading readiness, or teacher perception. The method I'll be using is to mass fill in grades of the most common score. So I right click on the name of the standard, and I select Quick Fill, and I get the three levels. L3 is at grade level, L2 is below grade level, and L1 is considered at risk. I'm going to fill in the most common score, which is below grade level, and then come in and update the scores that are different. Once I'm done, I can save the information. It is updated on the server. I need to enter a score for each standard identified as a trigger. Consult the assessment binder for a list of those triggers. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to set up Power Teacher Gradebook to enter checkpoint assessments and scores. First, we need to enable standards in the preferences. To do this, go to Tools at the top, and then Preferences. In the tabs at the top, select Standards. Ensure that Display Standard Grades and Other Measures in Final Grade Mode and Enable Standards-Based Grading with Assignments are both checked. Under Higher Level Standards, check the box for Automatically Calculate Higher Level Standard Grades from Lowest Level Standards Grades. Choose OK. If prompted to recalculate, select Yes, and also Close. In addition, we need to add a new category for the checkpoints. To do this, in the Categories panel, click on the plus, enter a name, checkpoints, then abbreviation, CP. We can select color. In the options below, these are the default values when you create a new checkpoint. Since we will not be using traditional grades, we can enter a zero for points possible. And then at the bottom, choose OK. We have now set up Power Teacher Gradebook to enter checkpoint assessments and scores. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to create checkpoints for the middle of year and end of year in Power Teacher Gradebook. First, we want to ensure we are in the correct year, in this case, 2011-2012. On the left-hand side, we want to select the correct subject or course, Written Communication. To create a new checkpoint, I need to go to the Assignments tab by clicking at the top. Also, I want to ensure that I'm in the correct reporting term. Remember, B1 is beginning of year, S1 is middle of year, and S2 is end of the year. I'm going to create a middle of the year checkpoint. On the Assignments tab now, I can create a new checkpoint by clicking on the plus at the bottom of the screen. In the New Assignments win window, I need to enter in a unique name. I'll use Checkpoint Week 8. An abbreviation, I'll use CP8. In the category, I need to choose a category. 
I will select checkpoints, which I created previously. In addition, I need to assign a date due. Since most of the students are assessed during the week of the 10th, I'll select the 10th. And finally, I need to go to the Standards tab and select those standards which are aligned to this checkpoint. This could be one or more standards that are scored to the rubric. I'll select uppercase letters and lowercase letters. Once I've done that, I can click Save and the checkpoint has been created. This has been how to create a new checkpoint in Power Teacher Gradebook. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to fill in standard scores into checkpoints. In the previous example, we just created checkpoint for week 8. To fill in scores, we need to return to the score sheet tab by clicking on that tab. We now see that checkpoint listed. To see the standards that are aligned with this checkpoint, I click on the standards drawer and it shows the standards aligned. I'll use a method where I fill in the scores that are most common to students and then go back and update those that are different. In this particular checkpoint, we're assessing uppercase and lowercase letters. I'll fill in using the quick fill by right clicking on the standard name and select a score to fill in. I'll do this for both standards. Once I've done that, I can now come back and update all those scores that are different than what I've filled in. By just simply typing those in. Once I've filled in the standard scores, I can also show on the actual checkpoint itself, the scores have been recorded by putting in a check mark. I can do them one at a time by simply putting in a period, pressing enter, and that'll fill in a check mark, or I can mass fill in the check marks. To do this, I right click on the checkpoint at the top, and then select fill scores. On the fill assignment scores window, Check the box next to Collected, and then set the Collected to Checked, and then click OK. Once I'm done entering in standard scores, I can click in Save. This video showed how to update student scores for checkpoints in PowerTeacher Gradebook.